Hi everyone, it's Erin aka Star Sketch, and welcome back to another video. Today I am actually going to be doing and starting another workbook series. So I have my computer open here and the last time that I did a self-care summer uh, video was August 10th, 2022. And I literally only did the um, like beginning part. So um, yeah, so I just did like the intro um, and I did the get out into nature section with you guys. And then we never continued it. So um, I was suggested and told and gotten the idea to basically, um, you know, do this as a series because there's only four other sections to complete. So I figured I could complete these in the month of May as, you know, kind of a start, like a kickstart to our summer on how we can take care of ourselves better and all of that. So if you would like to, be sure to go watch the first video where we talk about getting out into nature um, and really, you know, like look into that and do that section first. Um, but we're going to continue on into part two, which is unplug from your tech. Um, and we're just going to get right into it. Um, and I hope you guys are excited for this and, um, let me know what you guys think of it down below. Again, this is my workbook and you can get it off of my, there is a link on my website. So if you go in the description box, hit the link tree link, go to starsketch.com even, um, or just click, um, the shop button and, um, you go under books on my website and you should be able to find it there. Or, if you just search um, my name on Amazon, Aaron McWalters, it'll come up and it looks like this. And then this is what the back looks like that it shows. And it has my little um, little picture there. So um, yeah, anywho, let us get into this section. Um, these next like three-ish sections are really short. So these videos might be a little bit shorter, but the last one will be probably the longest of them all. But anywho, um, let's get into the workbook. Unplugging from technology allows you time to fully focus on self-reflection and being present. With all the alerts and notifications and new posts, it could be distracting when you are trying to take time to take care of yourself. Have tech-free activities. There are so many tech-free activities to do, such as take a drive or a trip, take a walk or run, go out somewhere, have friends and family over, declutter, organize, clean your space, book, uh, book, <laughs> I was reading bake and cook at the same time, bake or cook some food, uh, get outside, hold a yard slash garage sale, read a book, magazine, or newspaper, go shopping, write a letter, journal, poem, or story, draw slash paint something, exercise, make lists, paint your fingernails or toenails. Make a list of more tech-free activities for you below. Um, I'm just gonna write out some ideas. Feel free to write out your own, either in your journal or if you have the workbook, feel free to write it in. Uh, tarot readings and oracle readings. work on workbooks. Walk the dogs, which um, I do tend to have my phone with me though, but I tend to uh, just listen to music whenever I walk the dogs. Um, exercise slash yoga. Uh, what other tech-free activities are there? Um, reading, duh. <laughs> oh wait, we already there already is reading. Um, and take a nap. <laughs> That's a good list. All right, center yourself. Learn to do meditation and mindfulness. For meditation, you could find free meditation YouTube videos for you to help guide you through a meditation session. When can you implement a daily meditation session into your schedule? 
Um, I usually like to meditate um, every morning before I write to-do list because it helps me kind of center myself for the day as we were just talking about. Um, so it's really good to do it then. For mindfulness, there are several activities you could do. Write a gratitude list, walking meditation, mindful driving, doing one task at a time using all five senses, mindful eating, mindful gardening, um, et cetera, et cetera. What mindful activities will you try and when can you do them? Um, writing a gratitude list would be really good for me to do. I've been getting messages in my tarot reading to do it. Um, when I journal would be when I do it. And um, mindful eating has also been like a really good practice. I've been like really slow when it comes to eating. Um, when I eat next. Take some me time. Schedule in time for yourself every day and do at least one of these activities during that time. Give yourself or get a manicure, pedicure, massage. Take yourself to a movie. Go wander around a bookstore. Go shopping or do some online shopping. Go for a walk and do some journaling. What me time activities would you like to do and when can you do them? Um, I'd like to watch a movie. I did that the other day and it was actually really relaxing. Um, and I, when can I do that? Uh, I don't know. I'll just say next rainy day. Cause that's anytime it's a rainy day. Um, I always get in the mood to watch a movie. Journaling. After to-do list is done. <laughs> and go for a walk. We'll do that um, this afternoon. And what is your definition of me time? My definition of me time is complete time alone without any distractions doing an activity that will make me happy. Awesome. And that is it for that section. I told you really short section, but you know, we have some tech-free activities that we can do, uh, some centering yourself, some things you could do to center yourself, and be sure to take some me time for yourself, okay? Um, next week, th that was all about, like, you know, getting away from technology and being by yourself, but the next one, we're going to be talking about scheduling some social time, which would it should be really really interesting so i will see you guys all in that video next or whatever video that you watch of mine next um i hope that you enjoyed this um i hope you guys are excited for me to complete this workbook with you let me know if there's any other workbooks of mine or other workbooks in general um, that you would like me to fill out with all of you together. Um, if you would like me to do like a workbook collection video, just kind of showing you, you know, the workbooks that I have, let me know and I can include that in one of these videos or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.